slowly. Watch the wingtip. Watch the tail, clear up. Approaching the target area now. Maintain current depth. Copy that. Steady descent. The wreckage looks incredible. Bring it up slowly. Watch the wingtip. Roger that. Steady as she goes. All right, the chains are secure. Start the ascent slowly. Copy that, engineer. Taking the load now. Steady pull. Take it up slowly. Watch the tail, clear on the right. Control to crane operator, begin smooth ascent. Acknowledge. The infrared scan confirms significant fatigue. Look at this red zone here. That aligns perfectly with the stress modeling. We need to ground the aircraft. The inclination angle here is reading 45.2 degrees. Confirmed. The digital rendering matches the physical parameters exactly. Note the stress fractures around the intake. Got it. The depth here is significant. The red areas here on the spar are critical. We need to reinforce this section immediately. I agree, the fatigue levels are too high for flight. The stress fractures here on the wing route are worse than anticipated. 
Yes, the fatigue analysis confirms it. We need to reinforce this section immediately. The spectrometry shows the aluminum alloy is reacting well to the new passivator. Look at the difference compared to the untreated section. Check the fuselage readings against the tablet here. We need to account for the corrosion. Confirmed. The positioning looks good, well within tolerance. Look at the stress fractures right here. Okay, the structural analysis highlights that section is critical. Yeah. We must reinforce this area before proceeding. We need to reinforce the longerons here before we seal the fuselage. The stress fractures are too deep. Okay, I've added that to the schematic. We'll start tomorrow. Ensure the alignment matches the AR overlay exactly. Reading five Newton meters on the torque wrench now. The pressure differential here shows we've minimized the boundary layer separation. True, but if we adjust the trailing edge, we might reduce the induced drag further.
pressure readings are stable across the board. Yes, but look at the temperature spike on cylinder three. We need to cross-reference that with the fuel mixture data. Royal Air Force 231, you are cleared for immediate takeoff, wind 2900 at 5. Roger, cleared for takeoff, 231, airborne in one minute.